boom, boom. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video of basically me just ran in. Um, as you tell by the turn of this video, it is drama, drama, drama. And it all started like a few... Probably about half a year ago, okay? So, and it's still going on now. It's absolutely mental. But today, I have officially just left everything. Like, I understand what's going on now. Um, it's all freaking games, games, drama, drama. And I can't be bothered with it anymore. <laughs> to start off, I was kind of with this guy for so long. Um, we split up. Oh, no, I can't even start there. That would be too long-winded. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I was friends with one of my exes by this time i've already done the whole crazy ass girlfriend stage let me just put that out there i'm yeah i've already done that way over um then he started seeing this girl no problems don't even know who she is never spoke to her seen her nothing um i wasn't even talking to him at this point either so that was weird um then all of a sudden he contacted me i was like oh why did you approach her like who am i meant to approach like i have no idea what is going on so i think he picked me up in the car not 100 percent sure but yeah, we spoke about it. Um, he said that she said we met each other in Tesco's. Um, I approached her. I told her that he would never love her like he loved me. It's a good thing. Um, what else was I meant to have said? I'm not sure what else was meant to have said, but apparently I cried. Also, I was with a friend. I was with a friend at this time. She was with one of his college buddies, which made him like, oh, I don't know who to believe. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I ended up Facebook messaging her. Um, got his approval first because I am not the crazy ass girlfriend anymore. So I messaged her. I was like, why are you saying that we met? Blah, blah. Um, then she blocked me. Yes, she blocked me. <laughs> no, no thingy, she blocked me. I was like, well, at least tell me why you're saying that we met. Like, I have no idea who you are. I had to get my friend to go onto his Facebook to tell me what her name is who the hell she is, what she looks like, all of that malarkey. I had to get a friend to do that because I have no idea who this crazy girl is. No idea. Um, and then as of recently, as some of you guys know, I fell pregnant with the same guy. Um, which is not a healthy relationship in any sense whatsoever um yeah it happened um at first it was okay and then it just went all like nah, nah, nah. um have an abortion he he i can't say names this sucks um he was just like have an abortion i don't want it oh this reminds me of what he made the same girl do last year um, and I was like I I 
don't believe in that stuff. I really, really don't. I'm not going to do it. I was happy that I was carrying something in me. Um, as weird as it is, like, even at the early stages, you still feel that stuff is changing inside you. It felt weird, and I actually really enjoyed it. So I was proper emotional. Um, but I still loved it. Going off the unbeat a track right there. But, so yes. I went through the whole miscarriage on my own. Because she popped back up. And he was not allowed to talk to me, apparently. Um, so I went to the scan with my sister-in-law. To them to tell me that it's not there. But little, little parts stayed. So yeah, I had to go through the whole miscarriage, the end of the miscarriage part, on my own, um, which I guess, fine. Not the best thing to do, but I did it. And then when I come back from the hospital, I messaged him to let him know what the doctors told me. And all I got from him was, yeah, it's okay for me to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, that's fine. Um, and then when I did tell him, he then said, okay, well, I better let her know so she doesn't hurt you. Like, so she wanted to hurt me if I was pregnant. I don't understand the whole thing. So, obviously, I did the thing and I messaged the girl on my other account um, and I blocked her and was just like, fuck, do not swear. It's like, no, that's it. Like, I've messaged her, I've told her how I feel that she said she's disrespectful, she's just vile, like, um, and then he messaged me, like, a whole paragraph of what she messaged. I don't have that anymore. Which kind of sucks. Um, but what I do have is when I got her to block me on that account, the messages that we have shared with a little bit of artwork because I'm not allowed to show you guys names or obviously photos and as you can see in the very first word it's like no oh but then so and so must have over exaggerated so you did because you're like contradicting yourself in the whole first sentence right there I don't get it <laughs> um but here are some of the chat logs. Um, also yesterday I spoke to a friend of his. A really, really good old friend of his. Um, and they even told me that it just... This is not healthy. Like, it's crazy. He can't lie on the spot. And I was like, that's kind of true, I guess. Um, though... She's lying because uh, this is just all stupid. And I have no idea why I was dragged into this in the first place. I even planned to meet this girl and just be like, I want to know what's going on. But when I told him this, this was his response. Yeah. Okay, I've spoke to your friend, I've spoke to my friends, and they've all said that this is crazy, it's stupid, it's, they are welcome to each other, one liar to another, like, just leave it, and as of today, as of this, I'm out of it. It is too much drama for my little head. I can't handle it. My whole feelings, my whole emotions right now, still not cool. So, yeah.
each their own. Apparently I'm not even allowed to see my own dog. But that's fine as long as you look after my dog, that's fine. So if you like this channel, hit like, subscribe, and show support. Because I think that we all have crazy friends, ex-friends, ex- Whatever the hell all of this is. I don't know.